Welcome back to Gold Seek TV. I'm joined here today with the president of New Pacific Metals, Andrew Williams. Thank you for joining us on a very big news day. Pleasure to be here, Peter. Uh, happy to be uh, happy to be on your show. Well, it's it's exciting to have you on uh, today because you've released some very big news. The first inaugural estimate for Karangas. But it's not just a milestone that you've released uh, some uh, mineralized resource estimate, but it's significant in size. So if you could share with us the overall, uh, the highlights of this exciting, huge, several hundred million ounces of silver equivalent ounces uh, resource estimate. Sure. Yeah. No, thank you, Peter. I mean, this has been uh, not something that just came about overnight. It was a uh, been a long uh, exploration process over the last two years. We've drilled over 80,000 meters of core in uh, 189 holes. And that's culminated in this resource estimate of 560 million ounces of silver equivalent uh, indicated resource with another 110 million ounces of inferred, uh, which is all right near surface, uh, open pitable at a, a very competitive strip ratio of approximately 1.8 for the entire resource. At a, uh, so we're, we're we're very very pleased with with how these numbers have come up and are very excited um, for what this means for the future of of us uh, at Carangas uh, in Bolivia for New Pacific. Well, the, these are numbers that many companies uh, would be excited to have, and this and this is your second big discovery for New Pacific Metals. So this deposit, when we spoke uh, back in the spring in Zurich, you know, you were going through this 189 hole drill program, and with this first mineralized resource estimate, I mean, it, it must be meeting and if not exceeding the expectations that you were thinking about back then. How how do you see today's news as? How does that be and look um, to the company, and uh, what what will be the next steps after uh, this? The I, I guess you'll be moving towards feasibility. Uh, uh, studies and, and economic studies on the project? Yeah, so um, I think as far as the resource goes, um, we stopped drilling in April. We were able to successfully uh, extend the, uh, especially the, the silver dominant mineralized uh, horizon near surface. But um, you know, what's, what I love about Karangas is the fact that um, it's big, it's disseminated, and from a, a geological perspective, from a, a great continuity perspective, relatively uncontroversial. And so when it comes to um, taking all that drill data and putting it into a model um, that was ultimately um, prepared and validated by our, our independent QP, um, the numbers, they, they, they shook out kind of roughly uh, aligned with where we were expecting, which is a really good thing. I think it underscores um, the uh, you know, from a, a relatively low technical risk uh, perspective, this bulk disseminated resource as opposed to something that's narrow nuggety and, and high grade vein type system. So we love that about Karangas and the way the numbers shook out from the drilling uh, was was you know, very close to what we were expecting initially, which is a testament to the to the quality of the deposit. And so, OK, this is resource. Uh, your question, what's the next step? Well, I think for us, uh, our next major milestone will be a PEA study that we're targeting for the first half of next year. You know, our, our stretch target is to get it done by the end of the first quarter of next year. Um, and then feeding into the PEA study, um, we're going to do a lot more metallurgical test work. It's a huge system at Karangas. It's polymetallic and exactly what the best way is to maximize the value of this large mineral endowment from a metallurgical perspective, um, do we produce dores? Do we produce concentrates? How big is it? How do we sequence it? How do we blend it? Uh, a lot more data is required. And, and so we're gonna embark on a, a fairly uh, comprehensive program here uh, over the near term. Um, but really the, the PEA study is gonna be the big next milestone for us at Karangas. And we're expecting that um, by the first quarter of next year. Excellent. And, and most of this uh, initial maiden resources is, is in the uh, indicated category, not just in the inferred, which is more typical to get you know, uh, other resource estimates I've seen in the past. So this is a testament to all the work, the years of drilling that you have done to really def to define this deposit with the, the uh, 
uh, potential to continue to grow the gold system at depth, which uh, in the news today uh, talks about it doubling in size and mirroring kind of what you, you already have existing uh, at depth there. So if you could talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think that's it's an important point that you, you picked up on. You clearly read the news release carefully, so thank you. <laughs> but the existing gold zone, yeah, it continues for well, be well below um, the way we defined the existing pitch shell. And um, unfortunately, we got into a situation where we couldn't reasonably extend the pit any further below where uh, we we terminated it for this uh, resource estimate, which I think was around 550, 600 meters depth. Um, and, but the gold doesn't stop. As you mentioned, you could potentially, you know, add another uh, another gold zone um, beneath that. The question that we have to do, and, and the reason why uh, um, part of the analysis we'll be conducting for the PEA study is to look at potential underground mining scenarios. And um, if we run that underground area at a higher cutoff grade, let's say, for example, can we raise the grade uh, sufficiently to enable a bulk underground mining scenario, uh, whether it's a, a sublevel caving or a block a block caving type scenario? Um, there's certainly a lot of potential there. Or, I mean, the beauty of it is if we're in a much more favorable gold price horizon, um, you know, years from now, we could potentially take another uh, cutback on the open pit and even do it that way. So there's a huge amount of optionality from both a, a mine design as well as a metal price perspective on all that gold material beneath the pit that didn't make it into the resource today. Okay. And, and just as a reminder, and you mentioned this earlier, the, the, the deposit is defined with a, a near surface, at surface uh, silver zone then in the middle it appears to be uh, more lead, zinc, uh, base yep. metals, and then a gold zone. So the the silver is is laying just right there at the top. That's that which is a, quite a, quite a large deposit as well. So this is a very nice gold silver uh, deposit with uh, some base metals in there. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fantastic. We we love the fact that it's polymetallic. We love the fact that there's a large gold endowment. Um, you know, a very different beast than um, our our other major uh, deposit, which is just pure silver at, at Silver Sand. Excellent. So there's a lot to this news. And I noticed a company, uh, you, we'll be hosting a webinar to go more in depth in, in today's uh, uh, news. So if you could share a little bit more about tomorrow's webinar and how uh, investors or those interested may uh, join and, and uh, get to know, uh, get some more details. Um, yeah. Um, you know, thank you for that. So we are hosting our webinar tomorrow, uh, September the 6th at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 o'clock Eastern. And we'll have some more folks from our technical team available uh, on that call for um, during the presentation, as well as question and answer and the full details, the link to that um, webinar are, they can be found in our um, press release that we put out today. So I refer to that press release uh, it's near the bottom. There's some additional details there. Um, that's where you can find the, the link and yeah, the more the merrier. Look for people to join the webcast and, um, and be engaged. We're really excited about it. And, and the more folks that we can um, tell the story to and, and hear their thoughts and questions, the better. I think it's a story that a lot of investors are not paying attention to, and it's a pretty, pretty eye-opening number today. So I think more more investors are going to start to notice what's what's happening down there on top of your other big project, the Silver Sands. So uh, congratulations on today's big news. I look forward to joining the uh, webinar tomorrow to learn more about uh, the mineralized estimate, and uh, we we'll look forward to following up soon, and we can uh, kind of dig more in, into. All, your third property as well and, and silver sands and, and talk about all the different assets involved in this company. So thank you, Andrew, and congratulations again on, on the big news Thanks and taking time much. to share it with us. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure catching up.